Heaven's California Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. I noticed yesterday that the game sound was very loud. There we go, that's a bit better. Um, we have this notice from EA Help. Uh, hi FIFA fans, starting off episode number 3. As you start your FIFA Ultimate Team journey in FIFA 19, keep your account safe by knowing the rules of play for the foot transfer market. The transfer market allows players to transfer foot items to one another at a fair market value. Any other use of the foot transfer market is considered coin distribution and may put your account at risk. Some examples of activities that would be considered coin distribution are buying or selling fuck coins, giving fuck coins to another player, or receiving fuck coins from another player, giving fuck coins out as a giveaway, or receiving fuck coins from a giveaway, transferring your fuck coins between accounts that you own, or that other player accounts own, being involved in coin distribution breaks our rules there, and welcome to FIFA 19, where you've earned an exclusive fuck kit for being an EA Access member. So we get a nice EA Access kit there from EA. That's actually quite a nice kit. I'm going to use it for there. Um, and you'll notice that my coin total has gone up quite a lot. And the the need for this, why has this happened? Well, uh, if you did miss yesterday's episode, then go and check that out. Um, we did do a pack opening, and I'll show you what we got of that in a minute. But uh, one of the players that we did get, oh, we had some duplicates. I sold them on. And then I was looking at some sniping filters and trading filters that were working quite well. And one that I had quite a lot of success with was this one here. I'll give you one. I don't want to give you all of mine because I, it's so easy to find your own. Um, this is how I did it. I just learned through Premier League left backs, right backs, you know, positions. Set it to about and bam, max buy now with a thousand coins. If they were floating around a thousand coins, I'd have a little bit of a snipe. But look, the Arsenal left backs are currently going for... 1.3k, this is a low for them I think, because yesterday when I was doing this, they were at a good 1.7k, um, but you know, it all varies on, on different times, another one I was doing was the uh, the centre-backs, who are now extremely cheap, there's a centre-back there going there, there's a, a Mustafi there, 800 coins, whether he's still there now is a different story. Not really. I mean, they were going at a thousand coins yesterday, and they are still at a thousand coins. Um, but as the game goes on, there's going to be more people coming onto the game, of course. And uh, we are going to have to start looking at some investments when the full game is released. And there is one player I want to have a look at for this. And it is actually Chris Smallin. Because I know Chris Smallin is a very good centre-back in the game. He's already worth about 4,000 coins. Um, so maybe not the best. I mean, let's have a look how much he's worth. Um, just to kind of gauge how much we all need to pay for him. He's at 2 point... Fuck, that was a huge... That would have been a huge snipe there. Um, I think he's a decent pickup. I think possibly. I mean, I'd probably try and snipe one myself or bid on one to try and get one for a little bit cheaper, just in case. But I think he could go up in price. He's very cheap right now for a, a centre back with very good stats. You have to look at it like this, like you're six foot four. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this one. No, it's expired, so we're not buying that. Jeez, he's actually 3.1k, okay. Okay, we're gonna get that one for 2.9k. We already have a small in, but I'm just gonna put him on the the tra the, the transfer list. And I'm going to keep him now. I'm going to see what his price does. Because I think he could be a pretty decent investment. And when looking for your starter players, you've got to think, well, Premier League is going to be a good place to start. And you're going to have to look for some, some cheap beasts. So just go position by position. Let's start another 
two good positions that most teams need is going to be fullbacks. Someone like this, Ricardo Pereira, who is already insanely expensive. Um, you know, he's going to be very, very good. So people aren't going to be prepared to pay his price. Well, what other price are they going to be prepared to pay? Maybe Trippier. But again, he's going to be quite expensive as well. Um, you've got to look at some other options here. You know, what other options are there at right back? Well, there isn't too, there isn't too many. Um, maybe someone like Trenty could be a decent investment. He's got the 80 pace, 5'11", the high medium. The attributes are good. He's got good acceleration. The shooting isn't great, but it doesn't matter. The passing, apart from the vision, the crossing is good. Maybe Trenty Alexander-Arnold could be a decent pickup, but only 2,000 coins. He's got the 80 pace as well. There was DeAndre Yedlin there as well. Let's have a look at Trenty Alexander-Arnold. Now, I don't want you guys to go out and buy everything that I'm buying because, again, there's no guarantee that Trent Alexander-Arnold is going to be uh, a great pickup. You know, there's no guarantee that's going to be the the go-to investment. But, I don't really mind losing the coins. I mean, you're not going to lose a shit ton of coins on him anyway. Um, but I'm going to keep him here. I'm going to keep myself enough coins to be able to uh, trade with and stuff. But I think he's going to be a decent investment. Now, one of our informs we got earlier, uh, yesterday... Was this guy, Thomas Starkosha. Now, I know when I picked him up, he was going for around 13,000 coins. And he's already up to 15. Well, 15 isn't being bought. But, what's going to happen is, if people want a special Serie A goalkeeper, they're going to have to look at Starkosha. He's an 83 rated inform at 11k. He's nearly at discard price. You know, he's at what? He's all the way down here. At basically discard. He's probably at 10.5. 10.5k discard. Basically on a discard on Strakosha. If you have the 10k spare, I would definitely pick him up. Um... We already have him, so we don't really need to. Um, but let's just have a look here at the players that we did get yesterday. So we have, obviously, all these loans that nobody really cares about. We did get the two informs. We get the inform Strakosha, the good inform Han Kyo one. We get Lacazette, we had Lamar, and we had Glick. They were our standout players. Then we had some other players like Zaza, Rami, Jardel, Henderson. Could be another decent pickup there. Um, he's already at about 3,000 coins. Could be more. You know, he looks like a very good CDM. Herrera, a very good centre midfielder as well. Uh, has the buy now price of 39,000 coins. At uh, 30,000 coins. Could potentially go up. You know, 70 in each in each stat. If you could snipe one of them. Could be very, very decent. Um... You know, this is basically what we got. We have the Mendy as well. He's very expensive. Even someone like Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain could be a decent purchase. Look how expensive he's getting already. You know, you've got to look at some of these cards and you've got to think, what one of these cards, would this card appeal to me? Because there's going to be a huge amount of players coming on the game on the 28th. And they're going to want to build a starter team. So, that's basically, we're going to stop rambling because we've rambled for far too long. But I just thought I'd talk about some of the stuff that I was doing and some stuff that I'd recommend doing. Um, but today, the, the idea of today is to try and get these objectives done. Uh, did one of the weekly ones yesterday, got the starter squad. I think I only got like a thousand coins. Um, if that. But uh, these starter objectives then, we have to buy a player... And take that player into a match. So, um, we're looking at our squad here. There's uh, two positions. There's a position here that I really don't fancy. 
and it's this Lachelle's guy. So I'm going to go on to the transfer market and we're going to have a look for a Premier League centre back that isn't going to be too pricey right now. Um, so let's go Premier League centre back. Let's put a max buy now of about 3,000 coins. Let's see what's floating about for 3,000 coins. Uh, that's not a, a centre back. That's just any position. Uh, centre back. Here we go. So. What have we got? We've got Kurt Zuma there. That doesn't look too bad. We've got Christensen. Ooh. Now, Christensen looks like a decent little man, doesn't he? We might have a look at Christensen here. Let's go to Denmark. Let's have a look. Uh, Christensen. There's quite a few of him, isn't there? Let's go Chelsea. Let's see how cheap he really is, because this could be another good starter card. 2.3k, let's let's buy one. And let's uh let's just put him straight into the club. And I may even buy another one. I may even buy another one just to keep freaking hell it's gone. I'll have a look at him uh later. But we will go and put Christensen into the team. And he will slot in just about here. So Christensen goes into the team. Not looking too bad, the team, is it? I mean, Walbeck and Adama should be okay at the top. Um, so we do have to take this new player into a game. Now, do I want to do it in Division Rivals? Or do I just want to go into a single-player season match? It doesn't specify that we have to take him into a, a game. We do have to play another single player match there. We have to do the contract play there. And we have to get a single player season's win there. So it's going to be a little bit interesting to try and work our way through these. Um, we do have to do single player season. And if we can get these matches done, we will get ourselves a little bit of a reward. We do get 3,000 coins. If we can get it done. So we're going to go into this game then. Uh, I don't think any of these players are going to be low on fitness. Because only Adama. So we will put a fitness card onto Adama. I don't want to um, gamble with chemistry styles yet. Because I don't know if it's going to be worth with some of these players. Um, but we will throw ourselves, oh my lordy lord, I've just dropped the controller. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, right, <laughs> let's get into this game then. Um, very, very short highlights to try and get this done. And we just want to get this done, out the way, get these objectives done. Hey, Adama gets the goal then. Adama gets the goal, three minutes in. It's just sort of fallen to him. I don't know what foot Adama is, but look, this is a bit of a trasher. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's check what foot he is, actually. I don't know, because I know I need to have a look at the foot of these players. So he's right-footed. Adama's right-footed. So they're all right-footed as my front three. That is okay. Right foot, right foot. So we've got a whole team of right-footers. Right foot. He's left-footed. Right footed, right footed, and I think Begovic is even right footed as well, yeah. So, all right footed, very nice. Right. There we go, 2 0. Now we're starting to dominate. Now we're in a formation that suits me a bit better. That was Ander Herrera with the goal there. Nice little bit of dribbling from Adam here. Look at that. Fantastic ball control in the box. Finds Herrera, great shot. Just be shooting in the box, man. You don't need to do these time shooting all the time. You can play, you can completely ignore the time shot uh, inside the box because it just isn't needed. Okay, we're, we're, we are starting to dominate this. So, it, I thought it was going to be more of a close game. Uh, it clearly isn't. So, I'm just going to play through the game and then we'll uh, carry on from there. That's better. Oh, yes. What a strike. That's much better. Woo, 6-0 coming up to the end of this game, guys. 
What a run by Herrera here. One touch. <laughs> what a strike. Bang, bang. Funny that was Matic, but it wasn't Matic. It was Herrera. There we go then. We beat the computer 6 0. Eventually, uh, we get the job finished there. Very, very easy. Begovic, the team played very much better in that formation. Um, we do get an achievement there, first of many. Complete a daily objective in FIFA Ultimate Team. That is very, very nice. We've actually completed a lot of things here. We've completed our starter objective, which means we get 50 coins. Whoa. Hell yeah, my dude. And we actually get a welcome to fuck, which is going to be an 83 plus lone player pack. Now, these lone players are very going to be very, very useful for helping us doing our five qualification matches for division rivals. Because getting your good Italian, centre mid, Chelsea, is that Jorginho? Oh, yes, yeah, see, Jorginho is going to help us out a load, uh, potentially, in our bet in our quest to to um you want to get a good rank in division rivals uh we also get a dead eye there that's very nice you do want to get a good rank in division rivals we get a la liga santander manager league as well that's nice um you want to get a good rank because you have to do these placement matches for them you want to be using your lone players the best team you can throw out and get a good rank, get a good placement. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck at the bottom and you're going to have to do so much more work to get up to the top. But our next objectives then here are name our club. We can do this. I mean, cracking FC. Cra. Actually, no, we won't do cra. We'll do CRK. Cra. Crook. We'll do cracking FC. We're still going to be cracking FC for another year. Uh, we can get that reward we get a FIFA uh, World Cup stadium there we'll have a look at our stadiums at the end of the day uh, what else do we have here we have information we got to change the formation of our squad I mean we can do that pretty easily we just have to go like that and then we'll just change it back I bet that's deleted our custom tactics as well hasn't it I oh, know no, 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 it's fine. A message from Killing for Days. What's this? I don't want to do game sharing because it can do some dodgy stuff. Um, for game sharing, I swear you have to have a disc. Can you game share a digital download? I'm not sure you can, to be fair. But um, So we've changed our formation. We can get fit. Then we have to play another single player match. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. We get a player fitness there. That's nice. Uh, what do we have to do next? Getting fit. Can get a fitness item on someone. Uh, who needs a fitness item the most? We'll put it on Joe Gomez. Apply item. Fitness item. You sent another message. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and keep replying to him. Because you know what? I appreciate him reaching out to me. But, oh, we get another 83 plus lone player pack here. Um, I can't really do it, I'm afraid. So, you know, it's not really much I can do. Boards out. Oh, we get Mictarian. CAM, but we don't really play CAMs in our team, unfortunately. We only play CMs, and he's not really a CM. So, he can just be thrown in there. Now we have to go and play a game. So it looks like we'll be doing another single player seasons match. So I'm not even going to show the goals for this. I'm just going to, unless I score a banging goal, I'm not going to show the goals because it's just a boring game. There we go. 92 minutes in. We make it 2 now. Adama there with the goal. Left footed as well. Only 61 team for Adama, but his pace makes up for that all the most. That was a... Decent strike from Joe Gomez. I'm not, was it Joe Gomez? Yeah, it is Joe Gomez. And a nice strike there from Adam Achorore to make it 2-0. And that is going to wrap up that game very nicely. The clock will tick down. And we will get the ball. 
And there we go. Full time is upon us. Another single player game done. I wish I'd have won that first game now. But again, as you can see, not as much of a dominant performance there. I think the the computer may have been on a higher difficulty. Um, but we get the 2-0. The we grind out the 2-0 win. Um, which means we do get another one of these objectives done. Which means we actually get a silver contracts pack, which seems... 100% worth it, however it's more contract, which is always going to help. And we have another objective here, take your positions. Arrange your starting 11 into correct positions. I know what he means by that, we don't have ourselves. How are we going to do this? I know how we can do it. No. Now we need to four three two one back again. We go. Let's start sorted out. That's a starter objective done. That's that one done. We get 150 coins for that. And for the second phase, we are going to get ourselves a silver reward pack, which is going to be fantastic don't really care what's in here two silver players and a badge that's very nice right next players I mean we have to do high contract and gain 50 skill rating in division rivals uh, we need to improve chemistry link two players together surely we've already done that Okay, that was that one done. Very easily. Uh, contract extension. We'll be able to kill two things with this. I want to... Essentially, who's the guy that's going to be staying in this team the longest? Probably Lapizette, right? I like them. This game has a sick tunes. Like, fucking awesome. I'll just use a, a bronze contract on him because we don't need to use anything more than that. That'll be that one done. We need to buy a contract. A consumable. Let's just see if there's any floating around for 200 coins. Look at that. You can get the big contracts for 200 coins. Look at that. Look. If you go forward a few pages, you can probably do it. There we go. Buy a big contract for 200 coins. That's insane. Um, but probably just so many people buying contracts. You can easily do that. And then we just got to challenge the team of the week. We get a daily objective done as well. We're going to get ourselves a position modifier for that as well. I like that it gives you a random card after each daily objective. Um, for this, we get ourselves a mixed contracts pack, which is going to be nice. So there we go. That's the contracts pack we get for that one there. Uh, the next one is a contract extension, 150 coins for that. Another 150 coins for that there. We have to challenge the team of the week. Which will be freaking fun. Um, let's start the challenge. We'll put it on professional. Why not? We will go ahead and play this game again. I'm not going to show the full game because it's just a really, really laborious game. So... I'll just skip through unless anything good happens and I'll see you at the end of the game. Okay then guys, so that is the end of that game then. Henderson with a huge performance. Liking the team so far. Um, very much so. I think it plays pretty well. Um, a little bit of a long one today, but these objectives are taking a flipping long time to complete. But we do the third page... Of them, we get an ultimate loan player reward pack, an 86 to a 90 loaned player. So, who is it gonna be? Who is it going to be? Anyone good? Brazil, send the forwards, Bobby Firmino, Yeet.
You look at Firmino's cards, you could easily play him as a CM. Easily Firmino could play as a CM. Look. He has high high, so he'd be going box to box. Good stamina. He could easily play centre mid. And he's got, what, four, five, four star, four star. So, oh god, no. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. And we get a reward for this as well. The third stage, we get ourselves a common, a three common gold players pack. All common gold players. Oh look, we get Anthony Carroll again. <laughs> they did Carroll dirty with his pace, man. Can I not list him on the market? Can I swap him in my duplicate in my club? How do I do that? Swap the duplicate island club. Swap. He's untradeable, so we can't. We'll just have to move them to quick sell and quick sell them because they're untradeable. Okay, so another more I'll start objectives. We've got green link, new signings, buy a player off the transfer market, continue progress in foot seasons. And we need a single player season's win. And we need to buy another player from the transfer market and a green link. We'll do the green link. We'll do the transfer market stuff. Um, actually, no. We'll leave that for tomorrow. We'll do that tomorrow. Um, we'll do have a look at some SBCs because why not? We'll do the next. Uh, we'll do let's keep going with the SBCs. Brick slots. So, what have we got here? We have got to get ourselves... Leagues exactly two, nations exactly two. So we need an English player and a German player, I'm guessing. Uh, English CDM. I mean, do we have anything we can put here? We could put in Shalabra if we had to, but I don't really... Don't need, we can put in this guy. We can put in Suore. Uh, he's going to get that there. And then we need a German striker if we have one. We did actually get a lot of strikers from the packs yesterday. None of which are German. We get Ginshek. Unless we have a... League 3. He's a big League 4. Um, we might have to use the German gold guy. There we go. We'll use him. It's just going to get us done, and I just want it done. So, we get some rewards for that. The correct position, we can do this. And we don't have any... Gary is a German, whole German thing. Any bronze left-wingers? we got Milico. A die. We just need a link, right? Mm. What happens if we do this? Ah. Over. Elliot would work, right? We need three nationalities. Alright then, guys. So, I did actually make a bit of a poo-poo error there. If I'd have gone to my items waiting, it actually gave us two um, of the right position changes things. So, 
Yeah, we can now put it on. I did buy one of them, um, but I didn't have to, but it doesn't matter too much. It, we'll probably use it at some point anyway. So there we go. That's that one done. All right, then, guys, it's the perfect links done. I had to buy a few players, but nothing that the 500 coins won't allow for. And now we need the loyal lad which is a left back, a centre back and a CDM all with loyalty with an exact nationality of one now this is going to be tricky I just feel it's going to be tricky because we're going to need like I'm guessing we could probably get it done in the Spanish league I'm hoping um Yeah, I mean, we can get it done in the Spanish League. It isn't a problem. We can just use these guys and we get that done. Oh, we need three exact leagues and we only have one exact league. Let's see. Here we go. That's low lads done. And we can get that SBC complete. We get ourselves a two silver player pack for completing it. And we get ourselves a premium loan reward player pack to finish it off which is very nice we get two things done in the starter objectives as well we actually get the green link which means we get a two player pack there and we get to get ourselves a 200 coin bonus there which is also very nice all right then guys let's get into these packs then we've earned today uh, let's see what we get here. I've been recording for an hour and a half. I hope the episode isn't this long. We have played three games, so that's going to be a lot of that time cut. We actually get a 63 rated right wing back with 84 pace. Yes, he's from the whatever league it is, Swedish league, but you'll be surprised. Okay, he's only 200 coins, but I mean, it's always, it doesn't hurt to, to check. I mean, look, he's looking at like a 400 coiner. The bronze pack method is very much in full swing at the moment. Um, I mean, it all depends on how many decent cards you get in your your bronze pack, but and how much your how many good cards you get from your bronze pack. But I mean, even these packs right here, if you were being proper hardcore RTG. You would be selling all these cards up. Now, I'm not telling you you can't. It, we'll just store them in the club. We get these two silver player packs as well, which uh, are uh, we get Trelka there from the Polish league. Uh, not so bad, not too bad, not too bad. And we get Thomas as well from Grimsby Town. I mean, look, he's worth a good 450 coins if you wanted to sell him. This guy's worth a good 400 coins if you wanted to sell him. This is the song I like, actually. I might check what this one is in a minute. But we have this another silver pack here. We get ourselves Sprav from FC Midlayan. He's worth... 400 coins, Chukar is worth, alright then, let's get into these final two packs, we got a, we'll leave the two player pack uh, till last, and we'll use this lone player pack, we'll see what we can get here, anything decent, not a boards out, it's a seven loan item of, Yarnstein, ah, we get some player fitness though, and a diving bonus, which is nice. So two players pack. One of them is going to be a rare card. I don't know. Oh, what was that? that was a big flare. Left back. Oh, we get Luke Shaw. Wow, would you look at that? That's quite nice. Um, and then anyone else? We get Claudio Ramos. Okay, not so bad. But I think that is where we're going to end this one then, guys. We are getting into the good stuff. Very, very nearly ready to take on Division Rivals. So hopefully you are enjoying the series. If you have anything you'd like to see me do or talk about, then please let me know in the comment section down below. 
I've been David, this has been FIFA 19 Road to Glory episode number 3. If you enjoyed, remember to drop a like, if you're new, subscribe and turn notifications on. Thank you for watching, stay safe, stay awesome, stay happy and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.